welcome and or welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarah and today we're going to do a late January TBR. These are, like I said, in my December TBR, mostly arcs for next month. So I'm doing these TBRs as a way to keep myself accountable for the arcs I have coming up in the next month. So last month I got through all the arcs that I had for January. Hooray! I didn't get through everything on the TBR, but I got through all the arcs. The last one I finished, I did finish like on the 1st of January, but you know what? Still counts. <laughs> Still a win for me. So this is going to be most of my February arcs. It's not all of them because <laughs> I don't know who decided, but February is the month of books for the imprints and stuff that I get arcs from. Everyone has stuff coming out, so I have a ton of arcs because past Sarah didn't look at the dates. Past Sarah just said, ooh, I would like to read that and review that and talk about it, boop, and then now I'm I'm in trouble. So I have a bunch. Um, have, also, it's the fifth. Have I read any of these? Absolutely not. No. No, I've read, I've read these books. Uh, in my defense, <laughs> it has been... A rough start to the year. Uh, we'll just we'll just leave it at that. It's been it's been a start. It's been a rough one. So the books. I am looking over here at my laptop. So I will put the covers up here. The first of the list is *The Tainted Cup* by Robert Jackson Bennett. I have enjoyed his work previously. I believe this one has an investi investigatory element to it. I don't remember the synopsis. Past Sarah knows the synopsis, present Sarah does not. I just know that I am excited. <laughs> one of the only non-arcs on the list, the next one is Dungeon Crawler Carl by Matt Deneman. I bought this on a whim one late night. So I have the physical edition upstairs and I know that it's super popular. It's one of the super recommended like lit RPGs and I'm getting into that genre now. So I wanted to give it a shot. It sounds hilarious. It's a like at lit RPG progression fantasy where the apocalypse is televised and you like earth is trapped in this <laughs> giant competition to survive I don't know we'll see I have your shadow half remains and that is by Sunny Moran I don't know anything about this one that I can recall the author completely new to me it was just one I know Nightfire is putting out and it sounded really really good all of these are going to be linked in my description box so you can look up descriptions if the cover intrigues you at all and the princess protection program is the next on the list by Alex London I am excited to give this one a shot an imposition of unnecessary obstacles this is the second book in the oh what is it called the new series from Maka Older the first book was the mimicking of known successes <laughs> I actually had to look that up. I couldn't remember the first the book. Anyway, this is a sequel to this. It's a like Sherlock Holmesian style novella series with these two women, one fulfilling, of course, Sherlock and the other being Watson. I really loved the first one. It's over there on my shelf somewhere. So I'm very, very excited about this. It'll be a quick read. I'll probably actually knock it out this weekend. I'm very excited about it. Uh, the next one is Jubilee by Stephen K. Stanford. I cannot remember exactly what this one has going on, but it's very cyberpunk from what I recall, and I have more of a sci science fiction arc, and I do want to read more of my science fiction books this year. I love sci-fi. I just tend to get lost in the fantasy, so <laughs> this one will hopefully be a nice return to form in that. The one I am currently reading right now is How You Get the Girl by Anita Kelly. Anita Kelly is one of my favorite romance authors and this is a rom sapphic romance between a former Tennessee Vols basketball player and a basketball coach at a high school. This does my heart very good because I live in Tennessee for good or ill <laughs> and I do like to see some good Tennessee representation. It's not the friendliest state in some ways, but in other ways it's great. So you know what? We'll take it. <laughs> the next one is another, I believe, sci fantasy, and that is Red Sight by Meredith Mooring. This one has cult vibes from what I recall, but I cannot tell you more than that. I just know that it is, they're pushing it a lot more in the UK than they are the US for what I've seen. So I really want to give it a shot and see. I do like sci fantasy a lot and I really love cults so this one really sounds good. The next one is Evocation by S.T. Gibson. I loved Dowry of Blood like many a person last year. 
I read it when it was indie and then when it was trad I reread it when I got my fairy loot edition and I was extremely excited when I saw she has two books coming out this year this one I believe is the uh, dark academia fantasy one and then the sequel that has to like the pseudo sequel to a dowry in blood I also have on an e arc. I just don't think it comes out till later in the year so I'll be reading that one as well a fate inked in blood by Daniel L Jensen I have kind of almost <laughs> sort of given up on my romanticy experiment but Daniel L. Jensen has a lot of really good books that I have really wanted to read for a long time and this is her newest book that's being trad published so I wish listed it just to kind of bookmark it and I ended up with a copy of it so I'm gonna give it a shot fingers crossed it does hit well there have been like one or two <laughs> romanticy books that I really enjoyed since I've tried reading it and I'm I'm hoping this is gonna be one of them we'll see I don't know if she's a single point of view author dual point of view or if her books are a little more on the romance than the fantasy I like a little more plot in mine but I'll report back I'm sure <laughs> I have The Butcher of the Forest by I think it's Preme Mohammed. I can't really see very well it kind of cuts off the author on that image I have this one is about some children lost in the forest and a huntress is tasked or chooses, I can't remember if she's forced to it or if she does anyway, go into the forest to save the children from this legendary butcher who is possibly haunting them, hunting them, or has taken them. I think that's what we've got going on in that one. It may be a novella, even if it's not, I'm very excited for it. The next two are romances, that's Glitterland and Waiting for the Flood. So Glitterland is already out. This is a reprint of Alexis Hall's romantic, romantic, romance series he self-published several years ago, and Waiting for the Flood is the novella that takes place after Glitterland. So I fully intend to read Glitterland and then jump straight into Waiting for the Flood and read and get an update about that out. And the last two are Convergence Problems by Wool Talabe and Martha Wells' The Book of Il Ren. Now, The Book of Ilrin, I believe, is the sequel to The City of Bones, which I have upstairs on a shelf, which means <laughs> I'll probably have to read The City of Bones first, but I'm gonna. I also have that on pre-order, so even if I don't get to it this month, I will definitely get a copy of it next month and be able to post about it then, so that when I'm, like, less pressed to get to. And Convergence Problems, I am reading, like, a, it, I think that's the one that's, like, short stories. It's either that one or Projections. Which technically isn't listed here. <laughs> I've been dipping out and in and out of those on my app on my phone. So occasionally I'll read something on the phone on the go when I don't have my Kindle with me. And I'll like pick it up every now and again a little bit of time. And then once I get a good way through it and I'm enjoying it. And I think I've got a good pace on it. I'll open it on the Kindle and then blaze to the last little bit. So that's one of the ones I've been doing that with. Hopefully I'll have that one done soon. Again, have I read any of these? <laughs> No, it's the fifth. I'm already behind. But you know what? New Year? I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to keep trucking. And you know what? That's all we can ask for. <laughs> but that's it for a very short TBR. Let me know if these look at all interesting. Again, I didn't go into descriptions on these because I don't keep the descriptions for books in here. I don't have the space for that. But I will link them all down below if you are at all interested in the covers or titles that sort of thing i will talk to you guys again next time like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you then bye y'all